Here, say, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> we knew adoption was going to be hard. We didn't know it was going to be this hard. So we were originally going to adopt two. Those fell through about a year after we started. Then we were matched with Esther. Um, so the whole adoption process was four and a half years. We hit pretty much every imaginable roadblock, but God really did a lot of work in changing our heart from us saying, you know what, this, this healthy young child is what we'd like to adopt. This is what we'd like to add to our family. And it was and kind of almost some, I don't want to call them shallow motives, um, but God kept twisting and just putting it in our heart like, this isn't what it's about. It's about me, it's about this girl, and it's about really the work that he's gonna do in us. We knew she was sick, but she definitely, as the years went on, became sicker and sicker. Yeah. All signs were pointing to, like, she may not even come home. She may not survive. You know, I mean, she was just 13 years old at 36 pounds. She couldn't walk. Like, she didn't have a lot more yeah. time. And everything right up to that point was not looking good. Like, our case had been sent all the way back to the United States. Like, we're done. Um, and so God just really, there were a lot of times that we just had to say, I do not understand what's going on or why God is doing this and just keep walking forward with a lump in my throat and a knot in my stomach when I absolutely hate the circumstance and trusting Him. Esther has been here since May, whatever that is, six, uh, months. six months. Obviously, we've had a long health journey. Some of the stuff they had never seen. They were sending it to Mayo, and the people at Mayo had never seen it. And they, there was just a lot of things that were making it a really complex case. It's, it's the trials that we've gone through and I would say, yes, the adoption process of like getting her home was a trial. And really looking back on it, it's almost was the easiest part. We signed on the dotted line, filled out some paperwork and then just waited. <laughs> but bringing her here, battling all the health stuff mm -hmm. that she's had and how God's using that and just working on us to make us more like him has been a challenge. I'm too quick to want God just to fix the problem, to focus on the situation at hand, and God, I need your help in this, as opposed to just sitting there and reflecting on who God is. And we don't learn about God when He just fixes the problem, like we would when He just lets us endure through. You know, when all we want is to get out from under it, and He just keeps us there and says, I'm faithful. By God's grace, like it has truly been miraculous how He has healed her. We've gotten her the right medications, and um, it's been miraculous. Yeah, it came home at 36 pounds. She's 64 um, in six months, and she couldn't walk more than two steps when she first got home. Now she can, you know, she was running on a treadmill the other day. And so, I mean, just what a significant change her body's made, and. Now we're just continuing to knit her into our family. I think I've learned the most of just seeing how much God loves us. And I just find myself just endlessly pursuing her. You know, I, I battled with her for two and a half hours one afternoon of just non-stop just pursuing her. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna care for you no matter what. And as I'm doing that, I'm sitting here just thinking, this is exactly how God really deals with us. Like he just, this constant pursuit of just loving us and pursuing us and caring for us. And just seeing in reflection, in hindsight, how he was loving us so deeply in those times and giving us the richest, deepest, truest parts of 
of himself during that time that you can't get when he just fixes a problem. You can't get if Esther were to come home in a year. You can't get if she came home healthy. You know, there's all of those trials have come with such rich closeness with God. And I, I honestly think that's the biggest privilege of all of this, of this whole adoption story. Like you were saying, it's his pursuit of wanting to refine us and everything else is messy, but God meeting us and his faithfulness made it all worth it. It really did.